Greetings again, fellow Tai Chi and internal arts enthusiasts. Now, I actually don't have a new pair of glasses, but I do have a new tip for you regarding the use of glasses and practicing something like Tai Chi or Bagua or even yoga or Qigong or Xing Yi Chuan or Kung Fu or any of those arts. Now, this idea, this tip I'm sharing with you, to be fair, actually came from my student, Frank. And what he realized one day in class was that no matter what, he would constantly go out of structure. And it was starting not only to drive him and all my assistant instructors crazy, but he thought there must be a solution. And he's a pretty smart fellow, so even though he's retired, I really admire his can-do attitude. Because a lot of other people would say, well, you know, I've been like this for 80 whatever years, or 60 or 40 however years, and this is, I always had to bend over computers or machinery and there's you know there's a million excuses and somebody like that you can just never help but he had a brilliant idea he realized that the reason he was always going out of structure was because his eyes were pulling his body out of structure and that's really true and it goes back to thousands of years what the Taoists and Buddhists said about our five senses and they said that our five senses make us cling now, especially the eyes. Where your eyes tend to go, that's where your body tends to go. It's just a natural reflex. So how do you deal with that if you're wearing something like bifocals or even trifocals? Because what happens is your eyes are so used to looking into the area where they can get the most focus. It's a reflex. So you've got to kind of break that reflex so that you don't keep doing this and pulling yourself downward, pulling all your chi and your shen downward along with your body. So the best thing to do is put your glasses aside. Yes. And in fact, in my class, we find that if we turn the lights down low at night, people get a lot more progress and a lot more benefit out of their Tai Chi practice. And that's because Tai Chi is really, it's, it's more of a kinesthetic art than it actually is a visual art. It's an art of experience and feeling. And that's the sense that you have to develop a little more, the kinesthetic sense, that of feeling and motion and touch and proprioception, where you are in relation to the environment around you and the space around you. And the eyes actually take up a tremendous amount of brain power. They use a huge amount of your brain called the visual cortex. And when that's sucking out all the energy, then there's not a lot of other space left for anything else to occur in your mind and body. So to free up that energy, let's kind of get rid of that system temporarily and let the other systems kick in. Now what you will find too is that if you can rely more on your kinesthetic sense and develop that, that sense, that is related to your sense of touch, that sense is the gateway to developing intuition. So that's another wonderful benefit of getting rid of your glasses. And if you don't wear glasses like me, then what you can do is, it's very simple. Close your eyes, or if you go outside and practice and you still need to see some some of your environment for whatever reason, then you can get a pair of very, very dark sunglasses or just close your eyes temporarily or put a blindfold on if you keep opening your eyes. Now, of course, just be careful and take full responsibility for what you do, but I guarantee you that if you do that, you will experience your world and your Tai Chi very differently or any other practice that you do. So please be aware of that. Sometimes your balance, your energy is pulled by something as simple as the habit of wearing glasses. And even if everything is very, very blurry around you, remember that people who are totally blind can dance. They can dance, they can do physical arts like gymnastics and skating and skiing. Some of them can do certain sports and certain martial arts. So why not do your Tai Chi or Qi Kung without your vision getting in the way? Try it. I'd also love to hear your experiences and if you have a great story to share then I will post that on my website and give you the credit for that. So please let's all share together. Be well and enjoy your journey.